and welcome to my channel Creative Gaming. My name is Stortia and you are watching Basic. This is episode 3 of Paint.net for Beginners. And today I will tell you a little bit about the tools in Paint.net. And well, I guess we can just start right here where we are. Um, over here you can, if you do something, then you can go back. Down here you can add layers and you can work with the layers um, by right clicking and then you can make it normal or glow. Over here you can pick your colors and then you can go push this one to get advanced colors so you can like adjust it a little bit more than just and what, than what you can over here. And up here you have a lot of tools. You have a tool that makes you able to do to do figures you can do a lot of different things you get a text tool that you can work with and use as you want you get well something that I actually don't know what it is because I have never used it. Uh, you get lines where you like can curve the lines and like work with them as you want. You get um, well something I'm not sure what is either that you don't need. You get uh, a cobbler picker. So let's say uh, we, we have a white down here. Uh, then you can go choose. You have uh, an eraser. We have um, this one, um, which is um, like making this effect. You can like choose two colors and then you just pull it. And there's uh, a, a few different ways that you can uh, work with it. Um, depending on how you want it to look. Um, and some of them is really nice, some of them doesn't make that much sense. Like, uh, like this one doesn't really make sense. Uh, at least to me, um, you can maybe find something you really like about it. Um, then you have... Well, again, something that I never use. Then you have, um, like, a normal um, pencil. And then you have another pencil that you can adjust a little bit more. Then you have uh, a bucket, so you, like, can color areas. Then we have um, this magic wand, so if we push the blue, then it will uh mark all the blue so we can say uh i want to color this and then you can see then it doesn't go out in the black area that is not chosen and then you can push enter to stop having it selected then you have um three different types of things to uh mark areas where you just do it by yourself um, and uh, depending on which one you use, they do something different. Uh, then we have this one, um, and like that just makes you able to move the marked area um, without you moving everything in the background. And then you have the normal one, uh, so you like can move things around and you can make things bigger or smaller. But if, uh, if I don't hold shift, uh, I can do like that. Um, but if I hold shift, then it will stick to, um, to the right form. And then uh, we have uh, what is called, um, I don't know what it's called in English, uh, but we have this one up here. Um, and every time there's a puzzle break out here, 
then it's because it's a plugin I have installed, but I will talk more about that in the next video. And then you in here you can uh, do a little bit about the color and the light. And then in here there is a lot of um, abilities to make things glow, uh, sharpness. Um, you can make things into an oil painting, uh, if that's what you want. Um, you can make things blurry. Which can look cool in some cases, actually. Um, you have a lot of uh, like things you can do. Uh, but I, before you like get started uh, too much with Paint.net, I will uh, tell you that it's a really good idea if you go get all the plugins that I list in Dropbox below um, in this video and in the next video. Because that's really useful. So, well, that's the tools we mainly are going to use, and those are the important tools. So, I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, then remember to give it a big thumbs up, and also remember to check out all the links in the description for my Dropbox and for Paint.net, but also for Facebook, Twitter, Twitch, and Mixer, where I post stuff and go live and stream. And also remember to join my Discord, where you can send me a private message if you have any questions about paint.net